Good evening, Arthur. The U.S., European Union, and United Kingdom have agreed to block selected Russian banks from the SWIFT global financing, financial messaging system. This, as Ukraine is putting up a fight, and that has Russia frustrated at the level of resistance it is facing. The streets of Kyiv turned into a battleground overnight as Russian troops continued to enter Ukraine from all sides, attacking by land and air. I'm here. We won't lay down our arms. We will defend our country. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing that Ukraine will stand its ground. The U.S. government urged him to evacuate the capital, but he turned down the offer, saying he needs ammunition, not a ride. A security camera capturing the moment a missile hit an apartment building. The mayor of Kyiv says no one was killed. The night was hard, but there are no Russian troops in the capital. Ukrainian's health minister reported Saturday that 198 people, including three children, had been killed and more than a thousand others had been wounded since Russia started invading. Officials there also said about 3,500 Russian soldiers had been killed or injured and 200 have been captured. Russia was not expecting the strength of the Ukrainian forces. According to a U.S. official, the Kremlin is frustrated specifically by the lack of momentum in the last 24 hours. Vladimir Putin's background is in intelligence. This is an extraordinary intelligence failure on his part. The U.S. and its allies have beefed up troops on NATO's eastern flank, but so far have ruled out deploying troops to fight Russia. Instead, the U.S. said today it's sending $350 million in military assistance to Ukraine. Germany also sending missiles and anti-tank weapons to the country. Oh. Ukrainians desperate to get out of the country. The United Nations says more than 150,000 had fled for Poland and other neighboring countries seeking safety. I have decided to take the children, I think temporarily, to Poland. While those who have decided to stay are finding shelter wherever they can, including this bowling alley. Yesterday, the U.S. and European Union imposed sanctions on Putin and his foreign minister. The European Union's top diplomat has just called an urgent meeting for tomorrow to weigh yet more measures against Russia. Arthur, back upstairs to you. Thank you very much, Jessica.